This is a video upon request of how I installed my snowshoe, um, I don't know, dash racks, I don't really know what you'd call them. These guys. Uh, yeah, someone messaged me uh, hoping I could put up a video on how to install them. So, to be honest, um, I'll try to do my best. So you want to make sure there's two and they're kind of mirror images of each other. Um, you want to make sure the racks on the bottom, these are on the top, just so that way your stuff doesn't fall out. Um, and then they'll only fit one way, right? So this side is the wider side, this side's narrower so that it'll fit around all this stuff. Uh, pretty much what I did is I had one of my friends hold it up the way I wanted it. Um, and then I just used self-tappers. Um, I didn't use the screws they came with because they were pretty crappy. So you put one screw in here, uh, that's just into, I would assume that's, yeah, it's for your hot air because it's got that guy going into it. Uh, or fresh air, one or the other. And then it came with these funky little, uh, sorry for my shitty camera work here, but came with these cool uh, brackets. Now, just take a look at the way I put them in because it took me a while to figure this out. I put them in the other way, like twisted the other way before and it just didn't work. So yeah, this, they give you screws in the kit. So I put them in through here and then I screwed into the supporting beam for the emergency brake. So you got these two pieces here, and I screwed it into that. Um, and then the last screw, you can see right above that guy. I just use a really long self-tapper. It's probably about an inch and a half, and I just screwed into the back, which is also all of the uh, either cold or hot air vents. Easiest way I found to do this, I had a friend, um, Kind of holding it where I wanted it and I lined it up made sure that this was touching made sure that that was gonna reach I did that piece first uh, this metal bracket screwed it onto here and self tapper or self tapped it up um, and then I did the other two screws because it was the easiest way to do it um, yeah so definitely do this install that first then this screw then the screw in the back at the very end and uh, as you can see, mine as well, this is your fuse box, I believe, or has all your fuses and stuff in it. I had mine touch it, um, and it's also touching the steering column. It's the easiest way, that way it's like, it's pretty solid, I mean, loose like that, but when you put weight on it, as you can see it now pushes down on the steering column. So you can put a bit more weight, it won't, won't break. Uh, you can see that one's pretty good too. Um, we'll give you a quick view. So you can see what it's mounted to. So, same on this side. Screwed in there with the self-tapper. Other one is in there. And the last one on the bracket. That's the other one, as you can see. Um, kind of mounted mine a little weird. This side's lower than the other side, so it doesn't sit, doesn't sit level. Um, I kind of had to do that as far as I can remember because of how it fits. They're kind of a weird fit. Um, but I would definitely recommend them because there's not really a center console in these buses, so it's definitely super helpful. And uh, yeah, besides that, just uh, enjoy the road.